Here we are in section 3.5 with the number answers for numbers 1 through 5. Number 1, we're going to fill out the table. So we're going to fill out this table. Again, this x is going to go right up into that number right there. And we're going to have 2 times 5 is 10 minus 5y equals 11. Subtract 10, we get negative 5y equals 1. And divide by a negative 5, and we get y equals a negative 1 fifth. So those two are partners, which will make it come out to be 11. The next one, now we're going to do this uh, negative 4 here. So 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8 minus 5y equals 11. Add 8, we get negative 5y equals 19. Divide both by 5, and we get a negative 19 fifths. Good. Now we're going to do number 3. Well, sorry, number one, to stick three. And again, this is not going in for x. This is now going in for y. So we're going to have 2x minus 5 times 3, which is minus 15, equals 11. Add 15 to both sides, and we get 2x equals 26. Divide by 2, and we get x equals 13. Stick 0 in for y. Oh, this is nice. So as we stick that guy in, we are now going to get the x-intercept. We do that when we get put in 0 for y. So we have 2x equals, because that's 0 now, 11. x equals 11 halves. Good, we can put that right there. Excellent, and we stick 7 in for y. And we get 2x minus 35 equals 11. Add 35, and we get 2x equals 46. And divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 23. Good. Number 2. Ooh, this one's in slope-intercept form. We could get different points, but here we're supposed to fill out the table and get these specific ones. So first, we're going to stick this and put it right in there for the x, and we get y equals 7 halves times 2 is 7 plus 6. That gives us y equals 13. If we stick in 0, this gives us the y-intercept right here. I'm going to label that y-intercept. So we stick in 0, that goes away, and we get y equals 0 plus 6, which is that number. That's why it's called the slope-intercept form. So a 6 right there. Now we'll stick the negative 1 in. We get y equals negative 7 halves plus 6. Uh, you could punch that in your calculator, or you can see that's 12 halves and a negative 7 halves. That will give us 5 halves over here. Good. The next one, we're going to stick in 0. Notice this goes in for y, not for x. So we get 0 equals 7 halves x plus 6. We're still getting the x-intercept because 0 went in for y, but it's a little bit more difficult to do this. We get negative 6 equals 7 halves x. We can still solve for that times by 2 sevenths, and that will go away. And times by 2 sevenths, that's the same as dividing this 7 halves, and we get x equals a negative 12 sevenths. Good. And then the final one. Sticking 4 in for y, we put a 4 there, and we get 7 halves x plus 6. Divide both sides, uh, sorry, subtract 6 off of both sides, and we get negative 2 equals 7 halves x. Again, times by 2 sevenths, or divide by 7 halves, and we get negative 4 sevenths. Good. Number 3. We're supposed to graph the following lines and label x and y intercepts. So here with the x and y intercepts, we've got to pick y equals 0 and then x equals 0. And we have to do that to get those two points. So on this one, we're going to let x be 0. And we get, well, if that guy goes away, 4 times 0 is 0. We are left with this equation, negative 2y equals 10. y would have to equal a negative 5. So 0, negative 5, that's the y-intercept. And the x-intercept is when y is 0. So if we stick 0 in there, we have 4x equals 10. Divide both sides by 4, and we get 10 fourths, which reduces to 5 halves. So we have 5 halves 0, which is about 2 and a half right there. And 0, negative 5 is right there. Good. Number 4. Stick in x is 0. Oh, this one's in slope-intercept form, so we better get that negative 6 for the y-intercept. And yeah, if we stick in 0 right there, that goes away, and you can see y equals negative 6. 
oh, the other one's not so nice. Stick in 0 for y, and we get this equation. 0 equals negative 5 thirds x minus 6. Add 6 to both sides. 6 equals negative 5 thirds x times by a negative 3 fifths times by a negative 3 fifths, and we get a positive 18 fifths is what x equals down here. Those will go away and the positive cancels, so we get a, so this is a negative 18 fifths. Yeah, negative 18 fifths. So, negative 18 fifths, and let's put it in there. Negative 18 fifths, zero is like this guy right here. And zero negative six is down about there. So we get, there's our line right there, good. And then this one, stick in zero for x. Five times zero is zero. Well, that is our x and our y-intercept. We're gonna need one other point. We're not sure where that goes, so we stick in a one and we get five. So about like that. So we didn't need this point to uh, get the x and y-intercepts, but we needed it to do the graphing. Usually two points is sufficient x and y intercept usually works unless somebody happens to give you a line where it goes through the same place for the x and the y intercept. Good!